Hello everyone, welcome to the series of tips and tricks at Methogenation. Our today's question is about to solve the arithmetic expression for which we have given four options. So as you can see, this arithmetic expression contains our basic algebraic operations, i.e. plus, divide, multiply, etc. So let's see how to solve this arithmetic expression. But before solving this expression, you must have to know about basic rules to solve arithmetic expression, which are board mass or PEMDA rule. If you solve any arithmetic expression without taking into account these laws, you might be get into an incorrect answer. So let's see what are board mass or PEMDA rule, which are used to solve arithmetic expression. Okay, so board mass says, if you are solving any arithmetic expression, you have to solve bracket first. Then after the bracket, you have to Hello everyone, welcome to the series of tips and tricks at Methogenation. Our today's topic is about to solve the arithmetic expression for which we have given four options. So let's see how to solve any arithmetic expression. As you can see, our this arithmetic expression contain almost basic operations, i.e. plus division multiplication, and we have to solve this expression. But before solving this expression, always taking into account the laws of finding the solution of arithmetic expression. Hello everyone, welcome to the series of tips and tricks at Methogenation. Our today's topic is to solve this arithmetic expression for which we have given four options. So let's see how to solve this arithmetic expression. But before solving any arithmetic expression, you have to take into account the laws that we use to solve any arithmetic expression. So what these rules are? Okay, so the rules we have to follow to solve any arithmetic expression is these board mass and PEMDAS or PADMAS. So what is board mass? Actually board mass telling us that how you can solve any arithmetic expression and give us the level of preferences to solve arithmetic operation. So you can see the board mass rule says you have to first solve a bracket to solve any arithmetic expression. After this, you have to solve any order, i.e. powers if they are present in an expression. And after solving powers, you have to solve four basic operation, i.e. division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction in that order. In the same way, PEMDAS is exactly same as board mass, but just we have the difference in the naming convention. Okay, so PEMDAS says you have to solve parenthesis first. After parenthesis, you have to solve exponent i.e. power if they are present in the question. After that, you have to solve multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction in that order. The only difference between these two rules, you have to know that if you are the student of UK or Singapore academic system, you have to follow board mass. And if you are Canadian or uh, American academic student, so you have to follow PEMDAS or PEMDAS. Okay, now solve after seeing this laws, let's solve our arithmetic expression. So 2 plus 4 divided by 22 plus 6 multiplied by 2. So board mass or PEMDAS tell us that if you are solving any arithmetic expression, first solve the bracket. Okay. So if you see, you can see that this is the parenthesis or bracket. So we have to solve this first. So 2 plus 4 remains at this is divided by 22 plus 6 is 20. Eight. So we got 28 multiplied by 2. Now, after this, the board mass rule says or the PEMDAS rule says that you have to solve the division. So 2 plus 4 as it is, we have this division here. So actually, we have to solve 4 divided by 28. So for this, what we can do, we can take 2 as it is plus 4 divided by 12. So 4 divided by 28. So it means 4 divided by 28. 4 and the 4. So you can see you cannot cancel out completely. 4 and the 4, 4, 7, the 28. 
Okay, so it means we got one over seven. I .e. so we can write plus one divided by seven here. Multiply by two. So here is the trick. Since now you got the answer, which are not completely divided. So four divided by twenty-eight. You didn't get any integer for this. You get fraction for this. So if you come across this situation, always write in a fraction form the division. So one over seven, right? One divided by seven is one over seven multiply by two. Now two plus one multiply with two is two divided by seven. So we have two plus two upon seven. So two plus two upon seven. So you can see in the first two we didn't have any denominator. So if there is nothing, we have one, right? So two upon one plus two upon seven, we have to add them. So now here comes the rules to add the fraction. So you can know that if you are solving any fractions, you can simplify it by using the butterfly rules. What is butterfly rules? Butterfly rules says multiply denominators first, i.e. seven one the seven, and then multiply seven with two, and this one with two. So seven two into fourteen. Plus one multiplied by two is two. So fourteen plus two is sixteen. Sixteen upon seven is the answer. But when you look into the uh, given options, there is no answer except this B, which is in common fractions or proper fraction. So you see, if we are given fractions like this, one denominator, one numerator, we say it that this is a proper fraction. So there is only one proper fraction in our options, which is two upon seven, and our answer is not two upon seven; it is sixteen upon seven. So B is not the answer. We know that. Okay. Now let's change this proper fraction into an improper fraction, and how we can solve this? So if you didn't know, let's see. And if you want to know, it's in the very deep concept. So we have already a playlist. Uh, of the name as concept at methogenation, where you can see that how to add, subtract, multiply, or divide fractions, how you can change proper fraction to improper, how you can change improper fraction to proper. So you, yeah, if you don't know this concept, must see our these videos as well that are in the uh, playlist of concepts at our channel, methogenation. Okay, now 16 over seven. So 16 is numerator. It, goes inside and seven is denominator it goes outside now seven one the seven seven to the 14 so what we got one two one cancel six minus four is two so actually we got seven two and two now how we can write so the uh where we actually this is proper and we did the calculation for the improper fraction but how we can write this improper fraction now so there is the rule so the rule is you have to first make these actually arrows. So this arrow says seven come below, this two comes above, and this two comes on the side. So the answer is two, two upon seven, which is the part A, option A in our answer. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel, Methogenation, so you can see a lot more things in our channel. Thank you.